Hey guys, what's going on? It's NewPunter94 here, and today I'm doing a game on my phone. I haven't done one of these games in a while. And, uh, it's really laggy right now. But the game I'm playing is Game of Thrones Conquest, and it is a game that I believe has come out today. I'm not fully sure on that, so don't quote me on it. But I was just browsing on my Facebook, and this ad for this came up, and I was intrigued so I tried it and this is a video kind of just explaining what I have figured out about it so far as well as just getting it out there so people know that it's there so you see you start off and let me figure out which button I push I think it's this one so you start off selecting your house name which is kind of cool. So I just picked House New Punter. I, well, not even 94, just House New Punter. You get put in one of these random locations. And you can see right there, I am technically in the Westerlands area. Kind of middle, that, that one in the middle right there, home. It's me. It is super laggy. This game is brand new and it is having problems. But an interesting thing... Gosh, it's so bad. Let's go back to the menu. Actually, let's go here. So I can explain this. So there's these things called seats of power. And each area, you have the each of the kingdoms. You have the crown lands. The iron throne is the best one. The gift, I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm assuming that's the wall. But let's see, let's go find the north. Is the north here? They have these different areas. So you can see all the different castles from the movies, like... The White Hills, the Foresters, the Dread Fort, and it is so laggy. I think it must be because I'm recording. But you see, this is Bear Island, and you can actually take over these uh, the castles from the movies, and they give you different bonuses. So you can see, this is uh, just one of the smaller lords, so it doesn't give you very good bonuses. But you can choose to assign pe three people these skills. Which you can see, this one gives you 37% extra infantry attack. This one gives trap capacity and siege health. And you just find them around, like, if the game wasn't lagging, I'd just see which ones are close to me. So I could come here, go to it on the map. I'm not sure who actually owns this castle. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. Yep, and you just take it over, but you have to have an alliance which I have not figured that out very good but as of now I have a liege which is house broad which usually if I wasn't lagging I could break up his profile you can see he has 53 bannermen so the way this works is rather than having alliances you have like a liege lord and you become their bannermen and you pretty much help them if they wanted to take over one of those big castles. They can rally it and their bannermen can join them in that battle. But also their bannermen have bannermen. So it's kind of a cool feature. And I can go here to my profile. And because the game is new, they give you these new these the purple items I have. They become free. You can see they're not too bad for a starter. They give you 30,000 power and pretty good infantry attack and defense and the other stuff gives similar stuff I'll leave that for you guys to see and yeah over here is my bannerman I just pretty much went in chat and said I needed someone to help me and to join my my the become my bannerman and I you can see I've had five people become my bannerman so if I were to need help I could ask these guys to help and they could teleport in and help me defend or attack or do whatever Actually, it says here I have 10. Yeah, I have 10 banner. See, the I can't really point. But next to the swords where it has the two lines going down, that's how many bannermen I have. So I, I have 10. And I am House Broad's bannerman. And I'm not exactly sure where he's at. He said he's by House Karstark, their building. So, yeah. Uh, this game, the, I'm trying to think of the type of game it is. You can click here. Take you back to your home base. Um, there's different type of games like this. Like I think, I don't know if I ever posted the video, but there's it's kind of like King of Avalon, where you can attack people, 
you can there's resources on the field like this you can go gather I can't even click on it you can gather it to get food and you can see at the top of the screen you can see how much food and wood I have and as you progress you get more materials you can use to build and upgrade and another thing you can do is there's you get special materials to make the equipment that I showed you on my guy. And the way you can get that stuff is you attack creatures. And as of now, they have level 30s. But because I am new and weak, I am only able to take level 5s. You click OK. And it finds them. You can see down there. You got to kind of scroll around. And then right here, it says you found a creature. That's the closest one on your screen, at least. You see there's a big group of people there. They must be an alliance. Um, so, then you attack this bandit camp. And that's how many troops I have right now. You can just see on the far right side, it says how much I have of each. Not very much, as you can expect. I've only played this game for about 30 minutes. So, we'll march to that. That'll take two minutes. They're going to go kill that uh, raider camp. You can see here, these are the battle messages. I just returned from attacking a camp, and this is the rewards that I got from it. And you can't really click on it to see what it actually does, but whatever. Um, I'll go show you my city, See, show you the buildings that are in the game. So, these troops right there, that means they're done being trained, so I'll just do that. And... I will start training new ones. Click on them and it trains the best ones automatically, which I'm only getting tier 2 troops, which isn't really that good. But the thing is everyone has tier troops. Tier 2 troops right now, so it's not too big of a deal. Start getting some catapults. Don't have enough food, so let's see how much we can afford. Yeah. And so all these buildings down here, I mean there's little circles they are for these buildings which the three the ones that you can get at the moment of where my level is at is these war camps in which i believe that controls how many troops you can train at a time as well as it makes them train faster and these are hospitals where if your troops get wounded which they i don't know if this game is like it because i have you start off with a five day peace shield so no one can attack you for five days which is cool but uh yeah, if your troops get attacked defending, then they get they get wounded and they get sent to this medical tent, which it's a lot easier, quicker, and a lot cheaper to just heal your troops rather than to have to build new ones. So the hospitals are a really good thing to have. You want to make sure you have more room in the hospitals than troops you have. You see, I just healed a couple siege, but I was out of food, so I can't heal them all. And these over here are farms and sawmills. And at the beginning, you're only limited on how much you can have of each one, and it's so laggy. And I have maxed out all of them. I just need to get them all upgraded. And you see that battle report right here? We just hit the monster. Go right there. That's our rewards from attacking the monster. And I'm not sure what all these pieces are. I'm assuming they're parts to uh, build equipment. So, just kind of go over some of these buildings. This one right here is the barracks where you can train infantry, archers, cavalry, catapults, and these are traps where if you get your city gets attacked, they take some people with them, pretty much. Uh, they're kind of useless in my own opinion. And this is a watchtower where you can scout people. <coughs> you can see how many troops they have, how many resources they have, if they're worth attacking. And also, if you're getting attacked... You ha I haven't been attacked yet, obviously. This is kind of going on about the other games that are kind of similar. But you can see how many troops are attacking you. And this is a research place. And currently, I am researching a military trait, which is archer drills. And I'll show you this. What it gives me It's going to give me 1% ranged damage. So that'll be good for this beginning. I want to get a good boost on the military. So that I can, uh, what's this, Maester Chains? Oh, I have no idea what this is. I did not notice that. Well, I need a level 28 Maester's Tower, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. Yep, uh, but then the categories that you can research is military, city defense, logistics, and economy. And they all just give you different bonuses in those areas. And starting here... 
This is a rookery, and it literally just tells you this doesn't do anything yet. They're adding in pretty much, yeah, it's useless, but I had to do it to upgrade my fortress. So, yeah, we'll see what that's going to be. And the smithy is where you can uh, forge equipment. These are the, the so these, this game's a little bit different than the other ones that I've played where they have recipes that you have. Before the other ones, you had to get scrolls, and then you had to get the stuff to build them with the scrolls. But these ones, you start off with them, um, and you have two level 10s, a level 5, and a level 1. I have all level 1 gear right now, except for the ring. I believe I have a level 5 ring. It's so laggy, I am clicking equipment. Yeah, you can see I have a level 5 ring, which just gives me not really that much stuff. The purple gear is better. Yeah, and as soon as it stops lagging, we'll go here. The tavern, you get daily rewards, which I haven't really played for two days. I think I just did it right at the right time. But this uh, house prestige, which is uh, Lord Experience, and these are just speed ups. But yeah, you, your Lord levels up, and I haven't figured out if he has any talent points or whatnot that you can spend to make your guys stronger. I can't find anywhere to do that. But yeah. Um, well, we did that one. I think this building is not anything. And then the training yard, I'm assuming, for the Travels of War, better training yard, let's organize more troops better. I have no idea what that actually does. That is not in the other game. <laughs> oh, it increases march size. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, you can see there it could be 6,700 march capacity. And these are buildings that are not available yet, like a great hall. That's for rallying. That's good. And this over here is a shrine. Yep, and it doesn't do anything yet. But we're not even strong enough level to do that yet. So, And then the storehouse, pretty much uh, it gives you a limited amount of resources that will be protected if you get attacked. And as you upgrade it, the higher it is, which I don't have to worry about it because I'm never going to go over 300,000 for the next little bit. And this is the stronghold. And pretty much, it controls everything. You can only level all your buildings up to what your stronghold level is. So this is usually what you'd be going to upgrade. And I think I just clicked on there as a thing at the base of it right here. This is where you can report bugs and everything. And I did submit a ticket. That's what this is right here. I used uh, food items, and it didn't give me any food for it. So I complained. And the last thing I'll go over is this the sideboard right here. I can't really zoom in on it. But you see the hammer, the helmet, and the flag. The top one, the hammer, when you click on it, it shows you all the building upgrades that you can be working on. So I have two upgrades going on right now. You see I have the war camp and the training yard going up. And if I wanted to, I could add a, a, another builder so I can build more buildings at the same time. It tells you if your smithy is available. And as well as your maester is what they're researching. And the next one down is your troop training. Tells you what your troops are all being uh, trained at and how long each building has on training. And then the next one down is your march capacities. So it's saying there I have an idle march. So if I click on that, it'll take me out here, which is not where I'm actually at. That's where I left last. And then I'm here. And it'll show you how to do this. Get food from the kingdom map. I just need to find one. Okay, that's a sawmill. I don't need wood right now. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. They hopefully they fix that. Yeah, right here, some food. Go march to that, and you see that they would get a couple thousand food, which is always good. And the bottom just opens and closes it. You can see like that. And I'm gonna click this thing in the top right. I'm not sure this. I think this is where you can buy stuff. Um, if it's done lagging. Yeah, these are just kind of, you can buy, you can pay to win, pretty much. Well, let's just leave it there. I probably won't be spending any money on this game, unless I really like it. And some games, they you have to uh, pay money to unlock stuff. Like on King of Avalon, I paid a dollar, so I can do stuff like that. But I can't really just my justify myself paying money on a phone game. <laughs> but yeah, that's the game. The uh, basics of what I've got so far. Um, as I said, there's probably a lot more you work with. Like, I'm still not sure about the Alliance stuff and the Bannermen. 
and how that fully works yet. You can see there's something done here. Oh, it's saying I can uh, heal troops, but I can't really because I don't have any food. But yeah, that's going to be the video for now. And if you guys want to see, maybe, maybe see a series, not really a series, but like where I update you on what's going on and just kind of pop in here for maybe 10 minute video every once in a while like the video and let me down know down in the comments and uh yeah thank you guys for watching this if you stuck with me and i'll see you guys next time bye